Hello and welcome to another episode of Fully Charged, this week coming from inside the Arctic Circle and it's a little bit chilly. And today we're looking at two very different electric vehicles. The first one is the Bluebird BE1, which is a very British designed and built three ton electric truck. And the other one is very Swedish. It's the Volvo Electric C30. And uh, I'm going to find out just exactly how an electric car behaves in very cold temperatures. So I mean, the idea for this then is to create a vehicle for you know local area deliveries in towns you know yes. I mean obviously yeah, the milk yeah. float is the thing yeah. that when you see yeah. it you think oh, that's like a milk float yeah. but then but it's stop go stop go yeah um, in fact the more it's used in that way the, the better the range is it's like driving an old diesel thing but without the noise and the smoke and the yes. causing yeah. fuels but Mike was just telling me that has got lead acid batteries at the moment that are Swappable in about three minutes, three yes. or four minutes. Yeah, four minutes. Four minutes. Right. Uh, it just takes on average to change them over, but it means that your vehicle then is in constant use. Yeah. Everything with this right. vehicle is to build a vehicle that we can easily get parts for. Right. Uh, and therefore, the cost of the vehicle and development would be minimal. So we were going to parts bins, and we would find the best motors that were currently available right. to suit this vehicle. That's the thing about this vehicle; it's the same cost as something like a transit or a yes. know, sort of yeah. purchase. Yes, yeah. It's, it's supposed to be like for like, uh, but the differences are is that this will carry more payload than your three ton transit right. equivalent, but you don't get the, the top end speed no. with this standard motor. This right. is a six kilowatt motor. Right. To get to the 45 mile an hour range, you need the 12 kilowatt motor. Right. Uh, and then beyond that, we can obviously put bigger motors in, yeah. but the cost is a, it's a, it's a, an optional extra yeah. cost, which right. is, you know, it can get into quite high numbers there. Yeah. Uh, and that's what this vehicle is not really about. It is about being affordable. I'm just outside Kiruna in northern Sweden, and I'm just about to drive an electric car. It's the Volvo C30 electric, and the Swedes are so hardcore that if this isn't cold enough for them. It's only about minus seven or eight at the moment. It's not that cold for Swedes. But inside there, they've frozen the car overnight down to minus 25 degrees centigrade to show us how the heating works and how electric cars work in the really cold temperatures that they have here. This car is designed to work when it's really blooming chilly. Well, I'm here with Annalie from Volvo Cars, and I want to know, Annalie, how the heating works, because clearly it's not just using the battery to heat the car. No, it's not using the battery. What you have experienced here today is a system with three different heating systems that works very smartly cooperatively. So a fuel-operated heater run on bioethanol and an immersion heater and a PTC element, which is more like a hair fan. Ah, oh, right, yeah. like a hair, like a hair, hair dryer. dryer. Right. Sorry. And then all this system works together, giving you 12 kilowatt at the same time. Right. And that heats up the cabin really quickly. Yeah. And then when you have reached your temperature, which you have desired, then the two electric ones are switched off. Right. leaving the long-term heating for the fuel-operated heater. And there's a tank of ethanol in the car, yep. and then that, it, does it burn that? Is there actually a flame somewhere? I mean, contained, <laughs> but is it from a flame? Is that how the heat Yeah, comes? so it's, right. it's burning the fuel right. to give warmth. Right, Yeah. right, because it does work incredibly well. I mean, it's not just a little bit well, because I had to, uh, after about five minutes of driving, we had to turn it off, we got too hot. <laughs> how much ethanol do you need to put in? Is it, is it a regular... Th Thing you have to keep filling while you're driving? You have a tank of 12 litres right. and in the heating up process you spend approximately one litre per hour. Oh I see. Yeah. Oh, right. And then running half a litre an hour. Right. So 20-25 hours yeah. of running right. for one tank. So it'll keep you warm for a very long drive. Absolutely. You don't have to the gas station and no. fill it up again. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> So, I mean, we're currently going to drive, we're on a, a, a like a 75 kilometre drive uh, from Karuna out to the European Space Launch Centre. And it's through very beautiful countryside, but also we've been warned to expect reindeers and 
husky dog teams pulling sledges. We're, and also, we're, it's part of a challenge. So we're challenging uh, two other teams of German drivers um, who, uh, it's to see who uses the least energy to do this trip. And so, so we've got the heating turned down, everything's down, down to minimum. We haven't got, have we got the heated seats aren't on, no, are they? No, they're off. So, and I'm, I must say, I'm very, very warm, although I have got a coat on, but it's not a super thick Swedish coat, it's just an ordinary English autumn coat. It's not even a winter coat. So I've just driven here to the S-Range Space Centre, uh, which is uh, in, I don't know where, I mean, it's sort of in the middle of nowhere in northern Sweden, above the Arctic Circle, and they launch rockets from here civil rockets for weather and satellites and weather balloons but I don't think we're going to see any launch today sadly but it was a really good drive in the car the car this car is just so confident on snowy ice if you think that I'm a, a British driver as soon as I see snow and ice on a road I just go into a screaming panic but in this car you don't even worry about it you just go sensibly and slowly along the road and it just it grips the road it feels very confident it's wonderful very quiet We've used less than half the battery to get here, so I'm now intrigued as we swap drivers to see if the other driver uses more than me. Of course she won't, she's really good and annoying to be good. So there's no problem with the range of it. it this, the car is really warm and comfortable. Uh, the heating is not using, a, 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 is very, using a tiny amount of the battery's resources, so the range isn't affected by it. So basically, this is a brilliant electric car for very cold conditions. It is actually about minus two here now, today, and it's the middle of the day quite chilly, so I'll be glad when we get back in the car.